Hi guys, Rebecca Venata here, and I just wanted to let you guys know that exercise is important just as much as nutrition and food is important, you guys. So for those of you looking to tone up and sculpt your body and get stronger, you also have to be eating a really well-balanced meal, you guys. Now, I'm not saying that I eat perfectly. I don't. However, I do make sure I work out hard every day, and I also do take at least one day off for myself. And this is through trial and error. This is through being consistent every day and trying new things. So when I post these one minute clips where you see me doing like a bathroom workout or you see me doing a home workout or at the beach, that's because I incorporate that into my life every day. So don't get discouraged. Don't think that you can't have the body that you want. Um, you absolutely can. You just have to start somewhere. So if you keep saying like, oh yeah, well, I'll never look like that. Well, no, you're never gonna look like me because you're not me. You know, you're gonna, you wanna be the best version of yourself though, right? But no one can do it for you. So you guys, I encourage you today to keep that in mind. Even if it's five minutes in the morning, that's really better than not doing anything at all. And I promise you that five minutes will turn into 10 minutes, it'll turn into 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It just takes some time. However much weight you've gained or put on or however bad your health is right now, it didn't just like, all of a sudden just get bad, right? It's taken years. So keep that in mind that it's gonna be a journey, it's gonna be a process, and um, you guys, don't get discouraged. You can have anything you want in life. You start here and, and, it, and it will come. Put it out there, put it in here, put it out there, and do it, follow through. Most of the time people fail because they do not follow through. People who are successful, why? It's not because they succeeded the first time, it's because they failed all the other times and they kept going, kept going. That's why they're successful. That's why they are where they are. Same with fitness, same with health. You have to make a conscious decision every day. And it's not gonna be that easy, like form and posture. A lot of people sit like this. You know, it's like, how, how do you start opening up and being aware? It starts here, you guys. Put it in your mind, put it out there and be consistent and follow through. If you need a little help, my book, Five Steps to Motivation. Five Steps to Motivation, you guys. There's no excuse. I wrote a little book right here just to motivate you guys. It's got everything that you need, and it also gives you five weeks of recipes and workouts. So on top of the things that you're getting free from me, I also have this book. And if you actually sign up on my newsletter, you get this for free. It's a Word document. I send it to you. It's an ebook. Um, but if you want something to hold into your hand and something that just to keep you um, To keep your mind straight you guys check in on the chapters. They are there the process. What's the deal? What is the deal? What's going on that you cannot overcome this fear? It's a fear. That's honestly what it is So you guys um, I'm gonna start setting something up so I can go over this book step by step with you guys just to encourage you and, and, and motivate you so don't forget reach out get this book it's on amazon it's on my website rebeccavanata.com and, and and again we're going to start going step by step with it together um because i really believe in you um i've been through all sorts of fitness levels where i've been like kind of healthy fit and then unhealthy fit and uh, my hormones and there's like a whole splur of things that you guys don't know that I struggle with every day with my health. So I would like to share more of that with you guys so that you understand that we're all in this together, that we all have problems, we all have issues, we all have time constraints, we have family, I have a seven year old here, and, and we have them all the time. So how do we juggle life and family and career and work and ourselves? You do have to focus on yourself first. It's like when you go on an airplane and you go to travel, they tell you to put your mask on first. If anything should happen, put your mask on first and then put it on your child or then put it on, on someone who needs help because you cannot help anybody else if you're not healthy, right? So you have to really, really focus on getting your mindset clean and clear, positive mind, okay? Incorporate that into your life daily. And if you don't take time for yourself, you're gonna run out and burn out and yes, you will not be fit for sure because you won't have the energy so let's change that you guys let's work on that i'm here for you rebecca Venata, rv and fit um i have um my website rebecca or rvandfit.com 
I'm on social media, you guys, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I have my book out there. I also, on my website, you guys, I have a whole thing. It's, I think it's, I call it, um, what do I call it? Oh, my secrets. My secrets, you guys. If you go to my website, it's like the second little tab. It says my secrets. Check there. I, have, I talk about what I use for my, my nutrition, supplements or vitamins or things that I recommend for you to have in the kitchen, um, even equipment to have in the kitchen, uh, workout equipment pieces that you can have at home. Um, I have books that are super positive, um, that kind of are uplifting, including mine, as far as, and there's nu uh, nutrition books and recipe books. And I just, I want you guys to reach out. The information is there. I even have podcasts, you guys. Free podcasts on my website. It's under health experts. Um, I've got everything from psychologists to OBGYNs to um, MMA coaches. I've got massage therapists, acupuncturists, reflexologists. I have everybody there on my site, health experts, information for you to listen into and learn because there's so much out there and I know that it gets, um, you f I, I feel this way too. I feel like I'm constantly been being bombarded with information and I don't know what to always believe. So at the end of the day, I have to do something. I have to either research or pick something and, and kind of try it out. And not try it out for like a couple of days or a couple of weeks, you know, really try it out for a few months. And if there's no results and, and, not, and I don't feel any better, I don't see anything changing, then I move on. And I really believe that we, we, all, we all connect differently to food and to, you know, exercises. So it's up for you to decide what's going to make you want to get up every day and, and do that, right? So only you can figure that out. So this book's going to help give you some questions and some guidelines. It's going to give you some ideas. Five steps to motivation. Check me out, you guys. I'm here for you. I've been through this health journey. I've been in this industry for over 10 years, and I grew up as an athlete. As a child, I was in gymnastics. I traveled doing dancing. I was in... <laughs> I was in basketball and cheerleading, track and field for six years. So I've been in this for a long time, and as a professional, I've been in this for 10 years. And it's honestly like it's ever changing. And your body's always going to be changing, and fads and things are going to be changing, but you have to focus on what's going to be best for you. And that'll take some time. So don't get discouraged. Come with me. Follow my journey so I can help you and be a part of your journey. And let's do this together. RVandFit.com. Five steps to motivation. All right, you guys. Have a good day, and we'll check in soon. Okay.